Hi, I'm going to talk about comprehensive government reform. Um, wait, 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 got to get your attention first. Okay, I'm going to do something tonight that recently got somebody beaten by multiple police officers and arrested. Um, as a matter of fact, I was at his arraignment when he was told by the judge that a peaceful protest is all about getting arrested. You're supposed to want to get arrested. Um, I personally beg to differ. Uh, I don't want to, you know, tell the judge he's wrong for obvious reasons. But my idea of a peaceful protest, what it's for, is to protest peacefully. If somebody wants to be arrested, they can break a law. Last I checked, peaceful protests were covered by our constitutional rights and therefore not illegal. So as part of a peaceful protest to, um, the idea that peaceful protests are for getting arrested, I'm going to hang this balloon on the fence that is put up around Solidarity Park, otherwise known as City Hall Park, which is uh, what they put on the signs when they uh, arrested a bunch of people, including myself, and closed it. I, by the way, was not living there. Um, I had went there to defend people's First Amendment rights. I felt that people had not been listened to, and a lot of people there felt they had not been listened to, and I feel that that gives them uh, just cause to stay and patiently wait to be listened to. Or shout at the top of their lungs and wait to be listened to if they prefer to do that. Now, I have with me um, a small list. Okay, well, I have some, yeah, keynotes. Uh, because I'm just planning on basically rambling. I don't know how long this thing is going to let me record because this is a, a new Yahoo account. Um, I had another one, but it, this one, for some reason, logged me in automatically under my Google account. <sighs> Rather than argue with it and try to log out and get logged in the other one, and then I'll be logged out of something else, uh, I just decided I'm going to go ahead and try it on this one. So, Google account it is. And uh, as of yet, I, I have nothing on here. This will be my first video. Um, I also have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash technozeus, if you want to check it out. And if anybody catches any errors in this, please let me know. Post it in the comments. Uh, maybe post it on my other channel or go on my Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash occupytheelections. Leave a comment there, and I'll try to get in here and annotate and uh, mention the fact that there's an error. If I get cut off in the middle of a sentence, um, when the video stops recording, so be it. I'm going to leave it that way. These are intended to be unedited videos. And so, uh, let's see, right now it's 5.48 p.m. And the General Assembly tonight at the East Steps of the City Hall in Los Angeles is at 7.30 p.m. So I have some time to do a little bit of recording. And uh, here, start on the top of my keynotes. Uh, let's see, the reason I have not completed all this is because I wanted I want a discussion, um, not a take it or not not take it or leave it. Um, if you don't have a concert a comprehensive plan um, written out in a way that you can share it with others, this is something I was told in the email recently. If you don't have a comprehensive plan written out in a way that you can share it with others, then you do not have a comprehensive plan at all. Uh, apparently, people have to write a plan in order for it to exist, according to the person who wrote this to me. And so this is why I'm going to make this series of videos, because um, I do have a plan. It does not have all the details, but I want to make something nice and clear. A comprehensive plan does not necessarily have to have every detail in it. For example, if you have a plan to go on a picnic and somebody asks you, what's the plan? The answer is to go on a picnic. If you have a comprehensive plan to go on a picnic, that means that you have all of the details in mind which are necessary to be able to pull off going on a picnic. For example, you have decided where you're going to have the picnic, or at least how you're going to get there, when you're going to go, who you're going to go with, all the necessary details. Now, maybe some of these details aren't necessary, in which case they could be left out of a comprehensive plan. But, um, you know, the more comprehensive the plan, theoretically, the more details it's going to have. Um, exactly what food you want to have with. Well, if you're going on a picnic, it's probably a good idea to have the food before you leave. So, 
having a plan for the picnic doesn't necessarily mean that you have picked out what you're going to eat but when you actually go there it's a good idea to have that ready so um, at least planning where you're going to buy the food or how you're going to get the food or what food you're going to have is, is a good idea if you want to have a comprehensive plan a comprehensive plan for government reform is what i would like to talk about now this includes a comprehensive plan for electoral reform and the reason why i consider that to be essential for government reform is because if we don't have any say if we don't have any say over who is running the government who's making choices on our behalf then the government is likely to do things we don't want them to do and this has obviously been happening this is why we have outcry all over the country this is why countries all over the world have outcry because their governments are doing the same thing because the people would like to be able to live in a world where if you're willing and able to work hard you can have a decent life um, for that matter if you're willing and able to work a decent amount you should be able to have a decent life because there are people out there who work extremely hard and have little or nothing to show for it and there are people out there who work next to nothing or not at all and we're basically born rich and they're doing just fine and uh, they, they may complain about the fact that they think some people are, are asking to have society feed them and give them a place to stay but the fact of the matter is most of these people well I don't know about most but an awful lot of them also own pets who are also people in my opinion and these people live free and they don't work they just get stuff to eat get a place to stay now I'm not saying that we should all be entitled to that necessarily I'm not trying to decide that one way or the other all I'm saying is I do feel that if a person is bettering society if they're doing the best they can to give something to society society should by rights give them something in return they shouldn't have to ask for it they shouldn't have to beg for it they shouldn't have to wish for it and not get it they should have a decent life if they're helping the rest of society to have a decent life as well why not now people may disagree with me that's fine those who disagree if they want they can ignore my plan if they feel like they can fight it but I will say one thing if you fight my plan you're agreeing with me because my electoral reform says we should have a right to disagree we should have a right to be able to stand up against something right now our elections don't allow us to do that so if somebody wants to argue with me or tell me I'm wrong thanks for the support I appreciate it so here we go um oh yeah uh, further in that email it said what you have are a bunch of disjointed ideas posts and handouts that in your head you consider comprehensive in reality not a plan at all there again when you write a plan down do you first compose the plan in your head and then write it down or do you first write the plan down and then compose it in your head because one way or the other it's kind of hard to write a plan down if you don't have a plan to write down so I would think that the opposite of that statement was true when somebody says if I don't have a plan written down that I can show people I don't have a plan at all I have bits and pieces of it written down in quite a few places and I had quite a bit more that was stolen from me back some time ago and uh, so I kind of had to start over a, a lot of it's actually still out there on the internet which is the uh, various posts that were mentioned and the handouts are things that I've uh, recently printed Oh, this thing is at 9 minutes and 16 seconds and it's still recording. Cool. I'm still wondering when it's going to cut me off. Okay, so what do we got on my keynotes here? Um, recognize that uh, society is in danger. Okay, now a lot of people don't see this. They say, oh, they're overreacting. Well, society is really in a bad situation right now. Uh, our, our people are starting to feel the effects of something that has been ongoing for a pretty long time it continues to get worse people are living in debt which is a real shame because um 
you know, they're, they're living in debt, not because they're living way over what their means should be for the amount they're working, but they're living in debt because they're trying to live somewhere close to what their means should be for the amount of work they're doing. And people start running out their debt limits. They lose their place to live. They lose them their family, their work, everything, for what? Who benefits from that? You know, where is the benefit in somebody ending up homeless out on the street? I don't see it. So yeah, society is in danger and it, it goes much deeper than that. <clears throat> Again, I don't wanna to get too deeply into that because there's a lot to be discussed. And this is just the first video. I will be adding extra videos to this um, series. Hmm. This thing has not ended my limit yet. I wonder if it's going to make me like broken off in the middle or something. I might be doing all this recording for nothing. That's all right because I'm kind of rambling anyway. As I said, that's what I plan to do. If anybody uh, would like to speak with me in person about any of this, uh, that would be fine. And then they can cut to the chase and ask the questions they would like to know answers to. And I'll do the best I can to answer them. But I would like this to be available for a lot of people and um, I would like to have the possibility of this being heard by more people without me having to necessarily repeat myself ad nauseum. Uh, <clears throat> so that's where the videos come in. I think I'm going to end this video soon um, and go ahead and start on another one just so that if people want to um, go to a specific part of the plan, specific topic, um, they'll be able to, you know, possibly do that. I, I can maybe put titles in them um, and people will be able to send links to videos that they particularly like for other people to watch. So, um, you know, rather than try to get through a whole bunch in one video, I'll probably go ahead and chop this off. But I wanted to get through these first few things here. Um, okay, recognize that many people share ideas which can save the world. Um, such ideas are common but important. I was recently told that no one person can have an idea that can change the world. No one person can make a difference. That I must be terribly egotistical to think that I have that kind of an idea. And I had to ask that person then, why was he there trying? Because, you know, this is another person who was right there with me um, at the Occupy General Assembly. And I uh, <clears throat> hated to have to tell him, but it really doesn't make a lot of sense to be there if you honestly believe that no one person can have an idea that can make a difference. That's kind of like saying no one grain of sand can make a difference in the size of a beach. If that's the case... I guess you could just remove all the grains of sand and the beach would be exactly the same as it was before. No difference in size at least, because after all, you would not have removed any grain of sand which would have changed the size of the beach. You'd just have a sandless beach exactly the same size. Well, maybe that's true, but um, it should certainly change the position of the beach. And there again, you could apply the same theory. Oh, this one grain of sand ain't going to change the position of the beach. Well, you know what? One person can make a heck of a lot more difference in the status of the world than one grain of sand makes in the status of a beach. Because we can plan ahead. The grain of sand doesn't seem to be able to do that very well. So <clears throat> that's what this is all about, planning ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and start a new recording and uh, begin the first steps of executing a plan to reform our government and make it work for the people. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll watch the rest of the series and send links out to other people and click like and subscribe and um, things like that. Thanks a lot.